question. I am Deepika here. Let's discuss a question which says, A die is thrown six times. If getting an odd number is a success, what is the probability of five successes? At least five successes. At most five successes. For this question, let us first understand Bernoulli trials and binomial distribution. Now, trials of a random experiment are called Bernoulli trials if they satisfy the following conditions. 1. There should be a finite number of trials. 2. The trials should be independent. 3. Each trial has exactly two outcomes, success or failure. 4. The probability of success remains the same in each trial. Again, the probability of x successes, that is, probability of x is equal to x, where number of successes is a random variable, capital X, is also denoted by Px and is given by Px is equal to ncx q raised to power n minus x into p raised to power x, where x is equal to 0, 1, 2, so on till n and q is equal to 1 minus p. So this is a key idea behind our question. We will take the help of this key idea to solve the above question. So let's start the solution. Now in this question, a die is thrown six times and getting an odd number is a success. So here the number of trials is finite that is six and the outcome of any trial is independent of the outcome of any other trial. So the trials are independent. Again, each trial has exactly two outcomes, success or failure, that is getting an odd number or an even number. Now, in this question, getting an odd number is a success and getting an even number is a failure. And again, the probability of success is P is equal to 1 over 2, which is same for all six trials. Hence, according to our key idea, the trials of the given experiment are Bernoulli trials let x denote the number of odd numbers in an experiment of six trials. So X has a binomial distribution
with n is equal to 6 and p is equal to 1 over 2. Now, according to our key idea, probability of x successes is equal to ncx q raised to power n minus x into p raised to power x where x is equal to 0, 1, 2, so on till n. Now here n is equal to 6, p is equal to 1 over 2, q is equal to 1 minus p and this is equal to 1 minus 1 over 2 which is again equal to 1 over 2. Therefore, probability of x successes is equal to, now put here, n is equal to 6 and p and q equal to 1 over 2. So, probability of x successes is equal to 6cx, 1 over 2 raised to power 6 minus x into 1 over 2 raised to power x and this is again equal to 6cx into 1 over 2 raised to power 6. Now in part 1 we have to find the probability of 5 successes. So probability of 5 successes is equal to 6 C5 into 1 over 2 raised to power 6 and this is again equal to 6 factorial over 5 factorial into 6 minus 5 factorial that is 1 factorial into 1 over 2 raised to power 6. And this is again equal to 6 over 2 raised to power 6 which is 64. And this is again equal to 3 over 32. Hence the answer for part 1 is 3 over 32. That is the probability of 5 successes is 3 over 32. Now in part 2, we have to find the probability of at least 5 successes. So probability of at least 5 successes is given by probability of x greater than or equal to 5. And this is equal to probability of 5 successes plus probability of 6 successes. Now from part 1 we have probability of 5 successes is 3 over 32. So this is equal to 3 over 32 plus now probability of 6 successes is given by 6 c6 into 1 over 2 raised to power 6. Now this is equal to 3 over 32 plus now 6 c6 is equal to 1. So 6 c6 into 1 over 2 raised to power 6 is 1 over 64. So this is again equal to 6 plus 1 over 64 and this is again equal to 7 over 64. Hence the probability of at least 5 successes is 7 over 64. So this is the answer for part 2. Now in part 3 we have to find the probability of at most 5 successes. So probability of 
at most five successes is given by probability of x less than equal to 5 so this is equal to probability of zero success plus probability of one success plus probability of two successes plus probability of three successes plus probability of four successes plus probability of five successes so this is equal to 6c0 into 1 over 2 raised to power 6 plus 6c1 into 1 over 2 raised to power 6 plus 6c2 into 1 over 2 raised to power 6 plus 6c3 into 1 over 2 raised to power 6 plus 6c4 into 1 over 2 raised to power 6 plus 6c5 into 1 over 2 raised to power 6. So this is equal to, let us take 1 over 2 raised to power 6 common. So we have probability of at most 5 successes is equal to 1 over 2 raised to power 6 into 6c0 plus 6c1 plus 6c2 plus 6c3 plus 6c4 plus 6c5. Now this is again equal to 1 over 64 into now 6c0 is 1 plus 6c1 which is 6 plus 6c2 which is 15 plus 6c3 which is 20 plus 6c4 which is 15 plus 6c5 which is 6. So this is equal to 63 over 64. Hence the probability of at most 5 successes is 63 over 64. So this is the answer for part 3. Now this completes our session. I hope the solution is clear to you. Bye and have a nice day.